Blood is a specialized fluid connective tissue that plays a vital role in transporting oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and waste products throughout the body. Let's explore their structure and functions. Blood is composed of two main components, plasma. Plasma is a pale, yellowish or straw-colored liquid. Plasma consists of RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, are the most abundant cells in the blood. They are circular, biconcave, and lack a nucleus in mammals. The primary function of RBCs is to transport oxygen from the lungs to tissues and carry carbon dioxide back to the lungs for exhalation. This is made possible by the red pigment hemoglobin, which binds to oxygen molecules. RBCs are produced in the bone marrow through a process called erythropoiesis. Their lifespan is approximately 120 days, after which they are broken down in the liver and spleen. White blood cells, or leukocytes, are crucial for the body's immune defense. Unlike RBCs, they have a nucleus and are fewer in number, constituting about 1% of the blood. They fight infections and foreign invaders. WBCs are classified into two major types. Granulocytes are the most common type of white blood cell. They contain small granules that release enzymes to fight infection and inflammation. Granulocytes includes neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Neutrophils, these are the most abundant WBCs, forming about 60-70% to 70 of total leukocytes. They are the first line of defense against bacterial infections and destroy pathogens through phagocytosis, eosinophils. These make up about 2-4% of WBCs and play a key role in fighting parasitic infections and allergic reactions. Basophils, these are the least common WBCs but are important for inflammatory responses as they release histamine, which triggers allergic reactions. Agranulocytes includes lymphocytes. These form about 20-25% to of WBCs and are responsible for immune responses. They include B lymphocytes, which produce antibodies, and T lymphocytes, which help destroy infected cells. Monocytes. These are the largest WBCs and act as phagocytes, engulfing pathogens and dead cells. Platelets, or thrombocytes, are small, disc-shaped cell fragments that lack a nucleus. Their primary function is to prevent excessive blood loss by forming clots at injury sites. When a blood vessel is damaged, platelets adhere to the site and release clotting factors, leading to the formation of a fibrin mesh. This clot seals the wound and prevents further bleeding. To summarize, RBCs transport oxygen, WBCs defend against infections, and platelets help in blood clotting. Did you know that a single drop of blood contains about 5 million RBCs, 10,000 WBCs, and 250,000 platelets? Also, in just one second, your body produces about 2 million new RBCs. Blood is an incredible fluid that sustains life. Keep learning and stay curious. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing science animations.